Uh, hi, in this video, we will see how phishing works. So let's log in to this site with the login and the password. I already created an account in this site, but I didn't do anything else because I want to show you the whole thing. Let's first create a database. Create. And there is the database. Its name is login1. The username is login1. And the host is database. Let's go and change the password because there is no way I can remember that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now the password has changed. Let's go to this utility here and connect to the Siteberg site. Dot com because there is no user interface to manage the site from we just use a shell and that's fine login one and the password so now we have a shell it's a free bsd system let's just use the mysql server username is login one and the host is database and i will be prompted for the password the password is one two three four five six and now i am connected to the server here i can do for example show show databases and there we go we have the list of the databases uh, normally i am a user i shouldn't see that but well let's just connect to our database which is login one and here we will create a table create table users this type has just two fields the email which is a varchar with uh, 100 character and a password varchar and with 100 character and now the table is created let's answer something in there answers into users values and those values are hacking at or my with a, a password of one two three four five six seven eight nine and there we go let's see what's in the table now select all from users And there we go so now we have our table now what i want to do is exit from here and even from the shell and go to hotmail.com uh, now what i will do is save this page and put it in the desktop in this folder which i all of the created and call it just login and go so it's done go to this page here we want to change just some little things let's just log for form there is just one and that's will make life easier for us and this field here action we will change that to http login dot site .com. and we will connect to the script csphp and here i will get rid of this javascript and now i will look for the name of the fields i will be working with so there is the first one it's this one login this login is the email we type in the uh, hotmail page after that there is the where we type the password and there it is it's this input here so we will use this one and the login variables so let's just save this and go to this editor here and create a php script here is php here we go we need to connect to the database so let's create a variable called con and use mysql function connect connect and i will be connecting to the database which is the host the server database with the username login one and the password of one two three 
four, five, six. Okay, and let's test if the connection was made. And if it's not, we just uh, tell the user can't connect to the database server and return false. So there is no need to continue. I need another variable in database db mysql time select db. So we will use the database which is just login one. And we will use the connection we just created. So it's gone. Again, if at db echo can select the data then return false again so now we have the database let's make a query so query query and search into users i will answer values so the first value is post it's from the uh, interface it will be sent us from the login page and uh, it was named login concatenate that with apostrophe and that post and uh, its password and i will need to close this close this and that's all we need to do now what i want to do is execute the query my uh, my sql query and just call the variable query and again i need to test if result if the query was performed normally so echo I need to test if it wasn't performed normally I will just uh, tell the user can't perform the query and that's all I need in total false and that's it I hope there is no error okay let's just cross our fingers and uh, test that php so now i will use uh, an ftp client filezilla and connect to site burg.com with login one as the username and the password so log for test and here i will go to this and i copy this put it here now we have the login and the php script let's hope that will work so it's login dot siteberg dot com and it's login dot and here we will see a hotmail like interface uh, with uh, of course the advertisement which we can get rid of but let's just test here david automail.com and give it a secret password now sign in it's uh, looking nothing happens so what i will do is connect to site.com login one and the password my sql with the user name login one and connect to data is get a password after the password we use login one and here i type show tables and i will just select all from users and there we go we have david's password 